Hello to the gamers and the streamers and people watching on YouTube. I do need to apologize. I am still sick. I don't know why I'm apologizing for the existence of virus and bacteria and stuff like that. But um, I, I am getting better. I sound a little bit worse or maybe the same today, but I feel a lot better than yesterday. So we are, we're, we're doing well for ourselves today. We're playing a game made by a streamer, YouTuber, commentator, Coney. Coney, I don't know if you're, if you're watching this. Can I tell you, I didn't interact with the tweet, but I thought it was very funny when you posted uh, the Smash commentary where the guy just goes, um, DK, BK, DK, BK. You think if DK wins, he's going to BK after this? BK, Infinite Burgers. I, I probably watched that... I'd say I watched that five times on a loop, over and over. And then I scrolled, I, I liked it so much, I scrolled down to the, the tweets that were below it. And uh, the, the first tweet was like, I knew this was going to be cursed when the comms started with a, a burp on the open mic, which is actually true. Anyway, um, I don't, I don't want to say you made the game. Or I don't know if you made it, you hired people to make it, you financed it. Either way, it's your creation in some way, legally speaking. Um... This is called the dead game game. The way that it works, you, and people are always saying this on Twitter, on Twitch. You play something that came out two days ago, 30% of people have already lost interest. They're like, dead game. Well, let's prove it. Let's prove that we got our finger on the pulse of the, of the Twitch nation here, okay? You get two games. It's a this or that style game. You got to choose which one is dead, i.e. it has less viewers on Twitch via the Twitch API right now. If you get it right, you get to keep playing. If you get it wrong, you start over, okay? Let's get started here. Fortnite versus travel and outdoors. I appreciate you gave me a freebie. There's no way that Fortnite has less viewers than travel and outdoors. It's 28,000 versus 5,000. Okay, we're on a streak of two, apparently. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past versus Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay, now this is impossible. Uh, Link to the Past, classic game. Red Dead Redemption 2, recent. Um, but also, I feel like everybody played this when it came out, and then they got like a third of the way into the game and realized that their view count was uh, like one-fifth of what it normally is because you're just riding a horse through the dusty-ass desert all the time. So I, this, to me, feels like one of those things where like one big streamer could be playing either of these and just inflating the numbers. But I'm actually, I'm going to go Red Dead Redemption 2. Although, isn't there like a speedrun event going on right now? Because if there's a speedrun adventure going on, or a speedrun event, this is getting, you know, 50,000. But let me, let me go with Red Dead Redemption. Okay, it actually was not close at all. Oh, that's, I know! I meant to click on the one that had the most. I, I, I should have clicked on the one that had the least. Okay, sorry, I did it in reverse. That's my bad. Politics or undecember? Okay, I don't know. I feel like the politics streamers don't put themselves into politics. They put themselves into just chatting. On the flip side, I've never heard of undecember before in my entire life. So put me, I think the dead game is undecember. It's very close though. Undecember versus pools, hot tubs, and beaches. I'm going to go with undecember again. Okay. That's the easiest guess of my life. Pools, hot tubs, and beaches versus retro gaming. It's got to be... Retro gaming has to be the, the deader category. It's actually closer than I thought. Because the thing is, this is not all retro games. This is just people who have themselves in the retro gaming category. Because the other... The, the game that they're playing is not in the Twitch database. Undecember or Age of Empires 4? <clears throat> can I be... Can I go crazy on you right now? It's like, I know that Undecember has like 2,000 viewers. I don't see Age of Empires 4 having 2,000 viewers. So I got to say that Age of Empires 4 is the dead game. Wrong. That is 3,100. How is that possible? Oh, there's a tournament going on right now. Oh, well... I guess I should remember, okay, so like, there's a setting in the game, I think that the setting I have it on right now, it only pulls from the top 100 games that are being played right now. So, if something small that I think is small is even being added 
into the game right now, that means it's having something going on, I think. Okay, this is not even going to be close. Roblox, less viewers than FIFA. Turns out Roblox is a dead game. Track mania or just chatting? Just chatting has to be like the biggest category on Twitch. Yeah, it's 395,000 viewers, okay? Tower of Fantasy or Poker? It's a tough one, but I do feel like there's um, a certain audience out there that they tapped themselves out on Genshin and now uh, are mainlining the new hotness. So I'm going to say Poker is the dead game. Wow, never mind. My mistake. I also thought because it's like 9 a.m. Pacific time, that's not when the poker streams take place. But maybe I'm, maybe I'm mistaken. Okay, was my best streak is like two so far? Lost Ark is more dead than FIFA. Lost Ark has 15,000 viewers right now? Is this one of those categories where there's like one streamer that everybody watches in that category? It's just Apollo. Excuse me, Apollo actually played um, Friday the 13th last night. He mixed it up a little bit. I mean, this, come on. Minecraft is going to have more viewers than DayZ. They're both going to have a, enough, but Minecraft is going to have way more. That's a gimme. Lost Ark versus Overwatch 2. I must disclose I was sponsored to play Overwatch 2, but especially while drops are going on, there's no way that Overwatch 2 loses to Lost Ark. Oh my God. I didn't think it would be that high. Siege versus PUBG. Okay, so this is like a this is a tough question. Siege is the least dead of these as a game. People respect it. People uh, tell me to play it all the time. Nobody ever tells me to play PUBG. People are like, you played enough, and like we hate that it exists. That being said, I feel like in terms of viewership. PUBG probably has more than Siege because Battle Royales are more watchable. Why? Never mind. Holy cow. PUBG has 7,000 viewers. Rainbow Six Siege has 17,000 viewers? You know what's crazy? The, that Dead Space spiritual successor, the Callisto Protocol, I'm going to be playing a, a damn Blue Hole game in December, possibly. Can you believe that Blue Hole is... They're coming out with a prestige AAA game? It seems like, a, like it's from a Bizarro realm. VR chat or Ocarina of Time? I'm going to say Ocarina's dead. Diablo 2 Resurrected or Elden Ring? Is Dan live right now? It's got to be... Diablo 2's got to be the dead game. What? Listen, I know Elden Ring, it's down from its peak for obvious reasons. For obvious reasons. Um, I'm a little insulted by this one for a couple of reasons. One is, what, you're not done with uh, Diablo 2? The game came out in 1999. It's literally like... Is more than 20 years old, is older than the average person playing it. Then secondarily, like I'm the 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 real reason I'm mad is because Dan could have just an extra 1,300 viewers would have kept my streak alive here. All because of your your foolish quest to get to 7.99 in Spelunky. Come on, Smite versus Lineage Two. Remember when I was sponsored to play Lineage 2? Those were the days, man. I feel like neither of these are crushing it in view count so far from their original release. I'm going to say Lineage 2 is a more dead game because of the fact that Smite is multiplayer, which means there's going to be some sickos out there that like they've just been watching exclusively Smite streams for like seven or eight years at this point. Okay, correct. Heroes of Might and Magic 3 or Resident Evil Village? This seems like a trap question. So I'm going to say that Village is the dead game and Heroes is popping off for some reason. I'm going to say that's like maybe a variety streamer is live playing it or something. Diablo 2 Resurrected or Tibia? 
Okay, we know this has 6,000 viewers. I've never heard of Tibia in my life, so I'm saying Tibia uh, is the dead game. Can somebody explain to me what Tibia is? How does this happen? I know it's a bone. In your leg, right? Why are you referencing the bone collector so much? We brought it up like uh, three streams ago. Now every stream, people just keep mentioning the bone collector. It's an old MMO. Listen, I gotta at least get to 10. Retro gaming or War Tales? I have no idea what War Tales is. Let me say that that's the dead game. Correct. Mario and Rabbids or Food and Drink? I'm going to go ahead and say that food and drink is going to crush it at its peak, but Mario is having a moment right now because the game just came out. People are sponsored to play it. Let me go. Food and drink is dead. Phasmophobia or Call of Duty Black Ops 4? I'm going to say Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is dead because this is like four Call of Duties ago. Then the new one just came out, and it's Halloween, which means that Phasmo should be having a bit of a moment. Okay, correct. Disney Dreamlight Valley or Madden 23? Dreamlight Valley, more recent, on Game Pass, more popular, I would say, among my circle. But I also feel like people played this on stream for a while, and then were like, it's not that fun to watch. It's fun to play. It's like meditative. But I bet there's a I bet there's some normie Madden streamers that like go off. So I'm going to say that Dreamlight Valley's dead. Okay, maybe the go off was not the right, the right word. Subnautica or Dark Souls 3? Um This is just my personal take. Everybody on Twitch at this point has already played Subnautica. Dark Souls 3 Come on, there's got to be a community of people that are playing this through, like, modded right now. So Subnautica's dead. <sighs> close. Very close. Total War, Warhammer 3, or Stardew Valley? I got a simple rule. Stardew Valley is... In my head, Stardew Valley is 100 times more popular than I think it is. Whenever I'm like, hey, Stardew is like, you know... Yeah, it's pretty well liked. I have to remember it's probably actually like the most popular indie game in history. So I'm going to say Warhammer cannot compete with that. I was extremely wrong. I could not have been more wrong. Is this the new Total War game? I can't keep them straight, man. Because you got Total War, Total War Shogun, Total War Shogun 2, Total War Rome, Total War Medieval, Total War Medieval 2, Total War Three Kingdoms, Total War Warhammer 1, 2, 3. I don't, I don't know which one's which, man. Big miss. Raid, Shadow Legends, or Animal Crossing? You would think that it wouldn't be Raid. Like that Raid would have less. But I think it's actually... I think they have managed to buy their way into popularity. I say that just because I downloaded Marvel Snap on my phone, and Raid Shadow Legends was like the third most downloaded game in the App Store. Simply due to the law of large numbers. There's got to be, like, a lot of people play it, and then a lot of people stick with it, and a smaller percentage of people become obsessed with it. So I'm going to say Animal Crossing's the dead game. Nobody's playing New Horizons anymore. That was, that was COVID 1.0. Wow, okay, that was actually really close. The Mortuary's Assistant or Gotham Knights? This one, you're, you're basically asking me, how do I feel about Gotham Knights? Um, can I tell you a story about Gotham Knights? I was, uh, people kept asking me, are you going to play Gotham Knights? And I said to myself, 100% I'm going to play Gotham Knights. Isn't that the movie, or isn't that the game where um, chubby Batman and Joker wannabes play like FPS against each other. And then people said no. And I said, why am I getting confused? And it turns out I was getting it confused with Gotham City Imposters, an 11 year old game. I thought Gotham Knights was going to be like a spiritual successor to that. 
and it turns out it's actually like a, a kind of like a co-op looter shooter. I think that the Mortuary Assistant is very popular because of all the streamers doing like spooky stuff in October. I hate to say it, but I think that Gotham Knights might be a little bit dead on arrival. So I'm going to say Gotham Knights has less viewers, but it's a bit of a it's a bit of a stretch. Yeah, okay. That that was not a good. But ask me in a year, okay? Gothic 2 versus Arma 3. There's no way Arma 3 has less viewers. Okay, um, we're going to start over. Dark Souls Remastered versus DND. DND category is kind of crazy because aren't there like three streams that get 50,000 viewers and then like 50,000 streams that get three viewers? Dark Souls Remastered. I bet, it, I bet Dark Souls Remastered putters along at like a tuka 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 tuka. And I bet Dungeons and Dragons looks like, whoa, 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 whoa. Here's my thing. All Dungeons and Dragons is going to be under this, I think. Like under this umbrella. But the Souls community gets split. Dark Souls, Dark Souls Remastered, Dark Souls 2, 3, Bloodborne, Sekiro, Elden Ring, etc., etc. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it's D&D with more viewers. We were right, by the way. Bioshock Remastered or Cats Organized Neatly. Um, I've never heard of this in my entire life, which makes me think that it must be crushing it on Twitch right now. There must be one streamer I've never heard of with like 13,000 viewers. Wrong, wrong. You got to go with your gut on that one. Okay, Jump King or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, which just came out, but also came out 13 years ago. So I don't know what you are. Are you the new one or are you the old one? That's the original? But, like, is it... The, many people playing the old, the new one probably put themselves in the wrong category by accident. I'm going to say Jump King has less viewers because all it takes is one big Call of Duty streamer putting themselves in the wrong category. Okay, that, listen. I got I to gotta start sticking with first principles, Okay. I got to start just stop overthinking it. Stop getting in your own way. We're playing uh, phobias crushing it today. I don't even know what it is. Marvel Spider-Man or Th Theasel? The Isle. This looks like the, no joke when my daughter sets up like a play set. It'll be like a big apatosaurus eating a, a Hot Wheels car she got from a, a Kinder Surprise all inside of like Madame Gazelle's schoolhouse from Peppa Pig. Spider-Man is one of those normie games, though, that's, like, insanely popular. Like, I always thought, like, it came out, was popular, and then sort of died down. But then, like, every week, there's new viral content from the Spider-Man game. I'm going to say Spider-Man's more popular. That was very close. I'll take it, though. Melee versus Battlefield Five. Melee obviously is going to pop off when there's tournaments, but Battlefield 5 has to be like dead as hell, right? You got to be dead. Fishing Planet versus Pokemon Crystal. I bet there's like one 58-year-old streamer that gets 3,000 viewers playing Fishing Planet every day. But I also bet there's some psychotic Gen Z speedrunners doing like nonstop nightmare nuzlocke runs although you're right you're you're right pokemon is so fractured you got you got all the separate skews of pokemon i'm gonna say fishing planets got them all under one category so i'm gonna say pokemon crystal get out of here why do i overthink myself why do why do i overthink it man okay i'm gonna say we know cats organized neatly is like 200 viewers Run it back. Fallout 3 versus TF2. If there's any justice in the world, Fallout 3 is the dead game. Nailed it. TF2 has 200 viewers. How is it possible it has 200 people watching it on Twitch when there's like a thousand people in my chat that just bug me to play it every single day? The numbers don't add up. Like, make it make sense. 
Fishing Planet had like a hundred. So I'm gonna say Layers of Fear via the Halloween buff is the is the living game. The Beast Inside or Cabal? How many horny Korean mobile MMO action games are there? They're not horny, they're erotic. You're horny when you play them. My mistake. My mistake. I'm going to say, um, you know, I bet this is like 300 versus 200. I'm going to say Cabal is more popular. <sighs> Super Ghouls and Ghosts versus Wizard 101. Wizard 101 looks like a, a game that you make up for like a movie in 2003. Like, yeah, okay, I'll come out for some beers. I just got to finish up coding Wizard 101 real quick. I got to tighten up the graphics on Wizard 101. Yeah, the, you're absolutely right. This looks like the kind of game where, like, in a movie, a kid would get stuck inside of it. By the way, I've seen... So I don't have strong opinions on the, the Mario movie, but I did see someone's, like expectation their prediction of what the movie is going to be like based on the trailer and they said oh no 100 chris pratt is just a normal guy and then he gets sucked into the game to become mario which is why he just sounds like chris pratt instead of sounding like mario and i'm like if that happens i mean i'm a, i'm a normal adult i'm not gonna be like uh you know, I'm not going to pick it Illumination Studios, but I will be disappointed. I might walk out of the theater. Well, you already bought the ticket. Don't do them any, any favors. It seemed obvious from the trailer. Maybe they... Maybe it's like Marvel and they filmed like some fake shots for the trailer to not... Uh, to, to throw people off. Definitely, once you get in the movie, he's going to go, whoa, what the heck, I'm Mario now? And then two seconds later, he's going to go, wahoo! And the audience is going to erupt, just like when Morbius said it's morbing time. Okay, what's dead? Wizard 101. This doesn't even seem fair. <laughs> <coughs> Better game, Halloween buff. Nailed it. Knockout City versus Crossout. I mean, I hate to say this. I love Knockout City, exclamation point knockout in chat. I do feel like Knockout City is like dead. But if you're, if you're playing it, you can still get my cosmetics in it by using the code at exclamation point knockout or exclamation point cosmetics. But I've Crossout, I feel like, Never lived? I feel like I gotta say, like, Knockout City is at least more living than Cross Out. It has 81 viewers. That's a sad story, man. It's a great game. People just got too freaking good at it. I, it's same thing with Rumbleverse. I, I made it to Elo Hell and ended up going up against uh, White Goodman every single game. Getting my ass beat. Okay. Seven Deadly Sins, X, Mashina, or Haunting Grounds. Story of a, a, a young uh, Bryce Dallas Howard and her, her Golden Retriever. Um, I'm going to say Seven Deadly Sins more popular. I've never heard of either of these games, I think. Final Fantasy X or Eternal? I don't think there's that. This is a game you watch for the streamer. You don't watch it for the game. Nobody's going to YouTube or to Twitch clicking on the Final Fantasy X directory and going, let's see what you got today. But Eternal I've never heard of. But I have to imagine like some people are like, this is fun to watch. I don't know why. I think you're dead. Holy cow. 
Age of Empires 1 or Black Mesa? Well, if there's a tournament going on right now, I bet it's AoE 1. Nope, wrong. These are impossible, man. Can I get to 10? Let me get to 10. Hold on, I gotta blow my nose. If you'll excuse me a moment. Just a brief second. I'm back. Do I have do I have tissue in my in my Bobby Cannavale? What's the Bobby Cannavale? It's this right here. Mariska Hargate. Mariska Hargate. Okay. Stop suggesting I do illegal drugs. Does this sound like somebody who's on cocaine? <clears throat> Do I sound like Tom Cruise on the Oprah show? I sound like I was like a recently reanimated corpse. I'm not jumping on any couches telling Matt Lauer he's glib, okay? I did take half of a dose of Dayquil this morning, though. Why half? Because it was all that was left in the bottle, unfortunately. Okay. Near replicant or the Tetris effect. I feel like if this is not the near that's popular, a automata is the one that's popular. I feel like Tetris effect is maybe where some of the Tetris community has coalesced. So I'm going to say you're dead and you're living. Wow. 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 It's an impossible question. Seven people, like one Honda Odyssey makes the difference between this. How am I supposed to be able to guess that? That's not possible. Okay, poker versus grounded. We know poker has like 9,000. I'm going to say grounded is dead. I mean, it's 6,000 viewers. It's not dead. This is tough, man. We know League of Legends. or sorry, We know Overwatch 2 had like 450,000. I don't think there's a doubt that like in a month, this is going to pass it. But it's also typically the most watched game on Twitch. But Overwatch 2 has drops. It's got drops. But Worlds is on right now. You're right. Even my wife's watching League of Legends. Okay, I'll, I'll go League. I was very wrong. Not even close. Okay. World of Tanks or The Sims 4? A lot of people play The Sims. It's deceptively... Play again. Eyes in the Dark, the curious case of, Vic of one Victoria Bloom, a Tim Burton game, or Travel and Outdoors. Travel and Outdoors is like 10,000 right now. Five... Th what? Who the hell is playing Eyes in the Dark, the curious case of the one Victoria Spooky? Poker versus Please Don't Litter. I'm going Poker. Elden Ring versus Dota 2. Listen, okay? If League has 130,000 viewers, Dota must have at least more than 5,000 viewers. Which is what Elden Ring had right now. Okay, yes. Thankfully, we got to two. It's been a while. Give me Minecraft over, over hot tubs. Smite or God of War? Obviously, God of War Ragnarok is releasing soon. And like Tommy Lee Jones and The Fugitive, I don't care. I think they're both kind of dead games. Story games tend to die faster on Twitch. And multiplayer games can, can slow burn forever. So I'm saying God of War is dead. Here comes a 10-piece. Couldn't be more wrong. Vampire Survivors or Lost Ark? Dude, this sucks. Because I, I actually think Vampire Survivors is the dead game, even though it's, it's very popular. We knew that Lost Ark had 15,000 viewers. Phasmo or Friday the 13th? Phasmo's dead. Wrong. That, that one was a gimme. I'm a fool. 
Vicky 3 literally just came out. It's got to be beating hot tubs. I would have thought that 15,000 viewers would be doing... It would be a little higher than that. But I guess everybody said... Like, I hate to be rude to chat. But this is... You know how I say sometimes, like, the viewer doesn't know what they want? Like, there's 100,000 people bugging me to play Victoria 3. And the entire appetite to watch the game is 15,000 people right now. You don't know what you want. They don't, they don't want to watch it. They just want to know that you're playing it. So that when you're playing Vampire Survivors, you have anecdotes about Victoria 3. And they're like, oh, dude, I know what he's talking about. I will never watch you play this game. But I will watch you talk about this game while I'm playing the game while you play something else. Fortnite or Dark Knot? We're going to say Dark Knot is the dead game. That's kind of, it's a bit of a gimme. Elden Ring or Friday the 13th? Friday the 13th can't compete. Miyazaki stays winning. New World versus Forewarned. I mean, the fact that Lost Ark had 15,000 viewers has me thinking that New World must have like at least 10,000. Because for a long time, I thought they were the same game. So I'm going to say that New World is living. Have I ever been more right? Just chatting will beat GTA 5. Streak of 5. Overwatch 2, just chatting. Overwatch 2 stays winning. GTA 5, League of Legends. League of Legends, confirmed, dead game. There's seven. FIFA or Just Chatting? Just Chatting stays winning. We, dude, we got an easy, uh, an easy roll. GTA 5 or FIFA? FIFA's dead. Dota or Valorant? Dota's dead. There's ten. I knew it could happen. Just Chatting or Valorant? Valorant's dead. World of Warcraft Dragonflight pre-patch. What the fuck are you talking about? Versus Apex Legends. What the... Is this, is this just the WoW category? This one is tough for me because they're both popular. I'm thinking... I'm like, am I, are, is this Nick Merck's time slot? Is, no, Nick Merck's would be playing Call of Duty Mor Modern Warfare 2 today, which means that Warcraft stays winning. Oh! <laughs> oh. We were so close, though. I do think, okay, hold on. I mean, because we, we got a couple duplicates there, I thought that was like our last um, like unvarnished attempt. You know what I mean? Like we, we have too many, too much information in the brain that it's more of a memory test for right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the settings. I'm going to turn off top games only if I can. I, I don't appear to be able to toggle it right now. Let me see. Let me see if I could toggle it. Yeah, Okay. So we're going to go nightmare mode, and now it's going to present us with games from uh, the entire Twitch directory. So not even just the top 100. Oh, it's taking a little extra time. Please, please tell me we didn't break the website. Bayonetta versus Minecraft. This is a, a very lucky start. I'm going to go um, Bayonetta's dead. <laughs> All right, good start, good start. Resident Evil Village versus CSGO. CSGO is alive. Special Events versus Warface. It's a Thursday. I, I'm going to go special events living, but okay. Yeah, that, that would have been pretty stupid. 
Age of Empires 4 versus Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Kony, how did you program the game to bring up like thematically similar stuff like this? This incredible machine learning technology. I feel like AoE 4 is like more popular right now. Oh, I was not even close, man. Mountain Blade 2 has 22,000 viewers right now. Okay, StarCraft 2 or Siege? StarCraft 2 is living. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. Condemn 2 or War Tales? Uh, War Tales was in the top 100, so let's give that a shot. World of Warships versus Destiny 2. Destiny 2 stays winning. Tibia versus Welcome, Welcome the Game 2. I'm going to say Tibia, uh, Tibia makes that one. Smash Ultimate or Alien Isolation? Give me Ultimate. That was... If, if you had asked me how many viewers Ultimate has right now, I probably would have guessed 20,000. I would have been off by like an order of magnitude. Brawl Stars or Lineage 2? It's got to be Lineage 2, man. 20 minutes till dawn or Gotham Knights? Bro, come on! We got it right, obviously. 20 minutes till dawn deserves more than 59 viewers. That's a good game. 59? I guess not every game. It you don't listen. An indie game coming out 6 months ago for 3 bucks. It doesn't need to have like a thousand viewers forever for it to be a success. But still, like this feels like an insult, man. Don't Starve Together or Serious Sam 3 BFE is going to be Don't Starve That's Living. I almost popped a blood vessel in my brain. I couldn't believe how close this is. There's no... this. If you show me, like, Steam charts concurrent player count, I bet this has, like, 5,000 concurrent players, and this has, like, six people right now. F last year's FIFA or just chatting? Holy cow. FIFA 23 has, like, 80,000. It has 100 times more viewers than last year's game, which makes sense. Why would you want to watch last year's game? But... Because it's the same game? Yeah, but the, the, the Cristiano Ronaldo's wearing a different shirt. The Division 2 or a Plague Tale 2? It's got to be Plague Tale 2. Stays winning. Kerbal Space Program or No Man's Sky? I feel like No Man's Sky is more popular on Twitch. Kerbal Space Program has 47 viewers? Slay the Spire or Elite Dangerous? <clears throat> This is tough. Like, it's genuinely tough. Because this is actually, like, the best PvE deck builder ever made by 10x, without a doubt. Um, but people go crazy over space. Like, if you ask somebody to be, like, a long-haul trucker in real life, they would be like, are you crazy? That sounds boring as shit. But then if you add in, like, one more dimension, they're like, whoa! I'm not long-haul trucking, I'm virtually hauling a load of uh, kyber crystals across the Crab Nebula while watching a guy with six degrees of freedom in his ship pilot a load of kyber crystals across uh, the Crab Nebula. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, I'm going to be a homer on this one, and I'm going to say that Slay the Spire has a more evergreen popularity. We stay winning on this one. That, fe that feels good. Slay the Spire legit still does not get the respect it deserves. It gets more respect than it used to. But it's still like, it, it, it's not up there in the, in the pantheon for everybody yet. It needs to be up there in the pantheon. Then play it, dummy. I got like 2,000 hours in this. Metin 2 versus Total War Warhammer 3. Um, it's a tough one because like we know that Total War Warhammer 3 it's a big franchise working with a big brand 
it just came out or had a new update. We know it's popular. But on the other hand, Madden 2 looks pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> looks pretty... <laughs> Looks pretty cool. I'm going to take a... Listen, I'm probably going to be wrong. I'm going to say that Madden 2 is dead. It Can I be honest with you? It's not nearly as dead as I thought it was. 1,200 viewers. We almost got humbled on that one. Resident Evil Revelations 2 or A Link to the Past? Uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2 is definitely more dead. That one was a gimme. <laughs> Disney, Dreamlight Valley, or Detroit Become Human? By the way, I need to say, so I made a tweet. I said, Chron uh, Cabinet of Curiosities, kind of sick with it. It's the new Guillermo del Toro supposedly curated horror anthology show on Netflix. I highly recommend it. That's not to say every episode is a 9 out of 10. I would say, if anything, every episode is like a 6 to a 7 out of 10. Um, but it's... Because it's an anthology, by the time an episode ends, you're like, that was pretty good. And then you watch the next one and you're like, oh, it's like it's something new. Um, the, I would say that it's almost like, um, imagine, you know those super massive games? Man of Medan. For some reason, I forget all the good ones. I only remember Man of Medan, Little Hope, House of Ashes, that's the good one. Um those that company the quarry thank you until dawn it's basically every episode is like one of those you'll be like why are the people doing such stupid things but you'll also be having fun with it i like it you're not selling it that's okay I don't, i'm not a netflix shareholder you know except indirectly through you know market tracking index funds that are globally diversified so i don't really care honestly if netflix has one hater i'm still alive which is great news for me but I'm just saying rare Netflix dub, Cabinet of Curiosities is actually, it's, it's worth watching for sure. But I'm going to say, like, Detroit, I just, it's tough. This, this is like a 50-50 for me because I feel like one streamer playing this could add 10,000 viewers easily, whereas I feel like nobody's building their, their channel around Dreamlight Valley. But there could be a lot of, like, you know, mid-sized, smaller streamers building around this, and this is, like, five years old at this point. So I'm going to say it's probably Dreamlight Valley. And it actually wasn't even close. There's no way Repentance is not beating Dead Space 3. I know that this is, like, there's bias, but, like, come on. It's, I know it's October. I know that the Callisto Protocol is coming out in like a month and a half. But like it's the worst Dead Space versus Repentance. It's a gimme. What the hell am I looking at? I, dude, it, this, the juxtaposition of these two images is so funny. Especially if they got them like set up in the right uh, perspective. It really does look like Donkey Kong's kind of, he got caught peeping. And Diddy Kong is like, you got to cover Diddy Kong's eyes, man. Uh, I don't even know what this is. Is this game called Mew? Moo? Listen, it's called Flu. <laughs> I got to go that, that Donkey Kong Country is like, it's a classic, man. Oh my god, really? I mean, I'm not that surprised that Donkey Kong Country has 36 viewers. It is like 35 years old or whatever. Hey, Moo101, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I just couldn't, I can't believe this has 1,300 viewers right now. Well, let's get going again. I love that the juxtaposition of those images is so good, man. Graveyard Keeper or StarCraft Remastered? I'm going to say it's Remastered. StarCraft Remastered has 40 viewers? Do people not play Remastered? There's got to be people that... Like, within the StarCraft community, there's still, like, some ecosystem. I guess people don't play Remastered. They only play the original StarCraft or StarCraft 2. 
Oh, they play Brood War. Brood War. I still probably would have picked StarCraft. Dude, it's got to be Oxygen Not Included. Living. Bubsy 3D is beating Oxygen Not Included. Is Malf not live right now? How does this happen? Undertale versus South Park, the N64 game. Are you fucking, like, what's wrong with you? Can I see the data? Undertale is 112 viewers. South Park on the N64 has 505 viewers. Or are people just watching South Park in the category? <laughs> it's just illegal streams. What the hell is Dragon Ball The Breakers? I've never heard of this in my life. Unless, is this the new one? Oh, it is the, this is the new one. This is the Dragon, uh, Dragon Ball, but before daylight. Okay, so I'm going to say that's living. That game looks cool. I don't know if I would ever play it, but it looks kind of cool. Rabbit Hole or Final Fantasy VI? Honestly, I'm just going to take a lark and say that Rabbit Hole is, is winning. Even though I've never heard of it in my life. Potionomics or Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links? I hope it's Potionomics. It just came out. I've been meaning to check it out. But I want to bring my A game when I'm not sick. So I'm going to say that it's Potionomics is crushing it right now. Love to see that. Super Ghouls and Ghosts or Disgaea 6 Complete? Give me Ghouls and Ghosts. These are close, though. Brawlhalla or Monster Hunter Rise? <clears throat> Rise is not the current one, right? What's the most recent Monster Hunter? It is? Brawlhalla, though, is one of those things where, like... I used to go to, like, Steam charts, and I would be like... This lit... Like... You don't hear that many people talking about Brawlhalla anymore, but it's like the 13th most played game on Steam or something. Like, it, it's crazy. I'm going to say it's Brawlhalla, honestly. Can I give you my honest uh, take as well? I like, I, I respect Monster Hunter, and I played, you know, like, I don't know, 300 hours of the franchise. I think it just is uniquely horrible to watch. Because you're just killing, like, the same monsters over and over again great game to play and and master but not a great game to watch as like a casual viewer resident evil one or scarlet nexus i'm gonna go with the october protocol here death watch or dragon ball legends dragon ball is like the nightmare picture to see because there's a, a trillion games in, in the Dragon Ball franchise. I have no concept of whether this came out in 1990 or uh, 2021. This could be a fighting game. It could be an RPG. It, 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 I, for all, it could be a mobile gotcha game. I have no idea. So I'm going to go October and say Death Watch. Wrong, wrong. Soma or Battle Brothers? I'm going October on this one. Far Cry 5 or Ease, the Ark of Na Napishtim. Um, I just, as much as I don't know what the fuck is going on here, I just can't imagine that there's anybody on the website that's like, oh, dude, I'm going to go watch some Far Cry 5 today. 999 or Super Mario Galaxy 2? I'm going to go 999 on this one. Wrong. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that, that it has so few, and I'm surprised that Super Mario Galaxy 2 has so many. Getting over it or Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon? Pokemon is like animal Dragon Ball. Like, is this the new one that just came out? No, this is old as hell. 
Why didn't they just name the Pokemon games in a, in a reasonable way so we could all remember which one came when? Like Pokemon 1, then Pokemon, the, the second Pokemon game could be called Pokemon 360, then the third Pokemon game could be called Pokemon 1 again, and then the fourth one could be called Pokemon Series X. That way I could keep them straight. Listen, I never doubt getting over it. Oh, what a devious lick. Lord of the Rings, the Lord Rings of the Rise to War or Outer Wilds. I'm going to say Outer Wilds stays winning. Star Wars ga Galaxy of Heroes or Dungeons and Dragons Online. Nothing in my life has ever made me less inspired to play a game than this image right here. This is a close second, but I'm going to say that it's uh, Dungeons and Dragons Online. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Grand Chase Classic or Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door? I'm saying Paper Mario stays winning. Wow, oh my God. Grand Chase Classic, really? Metro or Condemned? Give me condemned. All right, that's just a that's a 50-50. Turok Evolution or Near Automata the first. I'm gonna say Near has more viewers. This shit is not possible. Race room or Tetris? Okay, they finally gave us a good seed. Tetris effect has more viewers than race room. Easily. Easily. Paper Bride 3 or Dead Cells? If this isn't a gimme, I don't know what is. Look, Dead Cells deserves more than 52 viewers. What the hell is Paper Bride 3? I didn't even know they made 1 and 2. Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones or Golf with Your Friends? There's no question it's Golf with Your Friends with more viewers. Final Fantasy 15 or Super Mario Bros. 3? I'm going Mario 3. As Dusk Falls versus Grand Chase Classic. One day we'll be in this category. I just need to get like two weeks of not being ill. We know Grand Chase Classic has like 25 viewers. So we're basically asking, does As Dusk Falls have more than 25 viewers? And I will say yes. It's only 25 people. Come on, man. Arena of Valor or Mafia 3? There is nobody on Earth going to uh, Twitch seven years after the game came out and going, it's time to watch Mafia 3. Blood Bowl 2 or Life is Strange True Colors? People, li listen, this is like endlessly replayable. People go crazy for Life is Strange, though. I'm actually horrendous. Okay, let's, let's be better. Atlas or Bloodstained Ritual of the Night? What do we do? We bet against single-player games. Run me back. Castlevania, Castle, Circle of the Moon, or Pico Park? Are the Among Us lobbies still playing Pico Park? I'm going to say that the answer to that question is no. Disgaea 6 or Yakuza? You never bet against Yakuza. That's a gimme. 165 viewers, 500 people in chat telling me I have to play it immediately. Barbie Horse Adventures or the Dark Pictures Anthology, The Devil in Me? Did I, was I in a coma for like a year? What the hell is this? Isn't this the one that's not even out yet? It's not out yet. It's a future game. It comes out in November. I'm going Barbie then. How is this possible? Twitch category. So this is just, just some freaking scammers in the wrong category. Made me lose on Barbie Horse Adventures. Lost Light or Jack 2. 
say Lost Light, I guess. So, okay. I don't even know what Lost Light is. Black Mesa or Have a Nice Death? I'm going Black Mesa. Here we go. We got a streak. Gears of War, FTL. We're going FTL. Scammed? Do we deserve destruction? There's really only 56 people on Twitch watching FTL. By two. By true minus two. Friday Night Funkin' or Final Fantasy X? We go FF10 stays living. Guardians of the Galaxy or X-Plane 12? You would think that there's like a, a huge like stealth flight sim community on Twitch, but I don't think that is true at all. Um, I think that Guardians probably has like 400 viewers, but I bet X-Plane 12 has like 70. <laughs> Holy cow. That was a close one. Yuppie Psycho or Have a Nice Death? It's got to be Yuppie Psycho Stays Living, just based on the box art. Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link or Castlevania The Curse of Darkness? Can I get a, a, a mulligan? This feels like an impossible question. I'm going to bet on Castlevania Curse of Darkness. I bet there's four streamers right now doing like a castle... We play every Castlevania game in October. We made it. Warhammer 40,000, Shuta's Blood and Teeth. Shuta's Blood and Teeth. What is What in the Shank 3 is this? Or Solstice? I'm just going to say it. I've, I've bet way too much against hot ladies with big swords. Nope. Wrong dummy. Kenshi or Arpegmo? Kenshi for Mathis? Cursed Fode or Angry Birds? Is this Duolingo? There's, Duolingo's got to be winning. Yeah, okay. That would... That just felt right. Have a nice death or Duolingo? Give me Duolingo stays living. Doki Doki Literature Club Plus or Her World? It's October. It's one of the best games ever made. There's no... I'm retiring. How is this possible? There's 92 people watching this? He's kind of washed, man. Geobingo.io or Deadly Premonition, the director's cut? Listen, nobody's playing this. They should be, but nobody's playing this. I've got to, I don't know what Geobingo is, but it's got to be more popular than Deadly Premonition. What did I say? It's got 15 viewers, man. You Suck at Parking or Dragon Raja? So this literally just came out and it's pretty good. But I don't think anybody's watching it. Super Mario Brothers 2 stays winning. What? 18 viewers to a Doki Doki Panic? Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone or Hyper Light Drifter? I'm going Harry Potter's more popular. Palmyra Orphanage or Chrono Cross? It's October. Give me Palmyra Orphanage. Oh my God. It's not possible. Arkham City stays winning. We call that the Gotham Knights effect. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot or The Sims 4? It's The Sims 4. Come on. Captain Toad or Graveyard Keeper? Nobody's watching Captain Toad in 2022. Come on. Star Wars Battlefront or Lord of the Rings The Battle for Middle Earth? I can't imagine there's too many people playing Battlefront. Holy shit. I'm out of touch, man. I'm out of touch. Security booth or Super Animal Royale? Dude, Super Animal Royale's kind of popping, huh? 1,200 viewers? Rocket League or Paranormal Entities? I'm going to say Rocket League. That's a tough one. 
Mario Party 3 or Workers and Resources Soviet Republic? Well, here's the question. Is Sips live right now? If Sips is live, it could be Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. But otherwise, I'm going Mario Party 3. Close one, though. Demon Heart Hunters or Model Builder? <laughs> Dude, I can't. I can't bet against that. I'm sorry. Titan Quest Anniversary Edition or Ease 8 Lacrimosa of Damn? <laughs> um, I feel like this is going to be a really tough one. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say they're very close, so I'm gonna bet on Ease Eight. No, I gotta. I I feel like we got a ten in us. Pac Man World Repack or Postal Two? We'll go Postal Two. Very close. Remnant Records or Bop Bop? I'm just gonna go ahead and say this has to be some of the worst box art I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, what is, what is this? <laughs> you know what it looks like he's saying? Tennessee, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Minnesota. I don't know, man. Let me say Bob Bob. Oh, it's not even close, man. Overwatch 2 beats chess. Chess stays losing. CSGO or Apex Legends? Apex stays winning? Here we go. Here we go. Team fight tactics or just chatting? Just chatting stays winning. Dota 2 or WoW? Dota stays losing. Ooh. New Call of Duty or Hearthstone? Hearthstone stays losing. Wow, that's like horrendous. That's horrendous for the new Call of Duty. Also, if, if Hearthstone has 16,000 viewers, Marvel Snap must have about 300,000 right now. Warzone or GTA 5? We go GTA 5. We're back with big games, huh? I think our settings got reset. Maybe there was like a, a new like data uptake? WoW or talk shows? I'm saying WoW is more popular. Counter-Strike or Hearthstone? CSGO more popular. Poker more popular than Age of Empires. Signalis or Bayonetta? We know Bayonetta had like 16 viewers. Signalis has recently been called one of the most essential horror games ever released. It must be more popular. Among Us or Tarkov? Give me Tarkov. Is, I know people are going to be like, really? I know. This is good. Bro, I don't, I don't believe that anybody... There's like some channels on Twitch, all they do is play this. Among Us is like, you make hay when the sun's up. I think Tarkov's beaten it. What can I say? What can I say? Minecraft or Played Up? We go Minecraft. No disrespect to Played Up. It's been an unabashed success. Played up or Rocket League? We go Rocket League. No disrespect to played up. That's two tough matchups for played up. Poker or team fight? Team fight stays winning. AOE 4, Marvel Snap. Dude, I gotta tell you, I'm thinking Snap's winning this one, man. Oh! 3180. Easiest guess of my life. Talk shows win. AOE 4 or Rust? When, when big streamers get tired of just chatting, they play Rust, right? Oh, yes. Oh, they, they do. Warface or Albion Online? Warface had like 40 viewers, and I've heard of Albion Online, so I'm going to bet on Albion having more viewers. Wow! I did not know that it was that popular. Albion's pretty big. I'm genuinely out of touch. I'm only sleeping is what uh, 
subathons do when they go to sleep. So I actually think this probably has reasonably big viewership just due to the fact that like at any given time, one in 10 streamers is currently doing a subathon. And then during a subathon, one third of the stream time is sleeping. So it must be I'm only sleeping. Just it's a lot of large numbers. Pokemon Fire Red or Odyssey. I really feel like um, people who are Pokemon freaks hate Gen 1. As a result, Odyssey will win. I, I've rarely, I'm not sure I've been more wrong in my entire life. Fire Red is Gen 3? What? I thought Gen 3 was like Ruby, Ruby Sapphire. It's a remake of Gen 1. Oh, God, even Apollo's typing in chat. What did I do? It's a Gen 1 remake in Gen 3? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Cuphead or Destiny 2? Destiny 2 stays winning. Ever since Pace Picante ended. Your turn to die or the quarry? I'm going to say, this is tough. The quarry is like maybe the biggest horror game of the year for me. But, like, this seems like something that would have... I, I feel like people already burned this up. I feel like this, even though I don't know what it is, it sounds like it would have high chat and engagement. All right, I'm stupid. I'm going to say... Um, new Cult of the Lamb content means it beats Conan Exiles. I'm going to say American Truck Sim stays winning. I'm going to be very wrong. I'm going to say Spelunky 2 beats Black Ops 3. I'm very wrong. Isn't Dan live with Spelunky 2 right now? It might, it might be pulling old data. I'm going to guess the language I don't speak. Oh, he's on Persona 5. <laughs> RF Online, Rising Force Online, or Rise Online. What do you guys think? Rising Force Online or Rise Online? It's a tough one. <laughs> I'm going to say Rising Force Online. Nope. What was I thinking? Virtual Casino or Diablo 3? <laughs> um, is this where all the gambling streamers have gone now that the real gambling is banned? I got to say Diablo 3 has got more. What? Excuse me? The hell is virtual casino, man? Slash moment. Resident Evil 7 or Doofus? Please be Resident Evil. <laughs> oh no. Half Life or StarCraft 2? It's StarCraft 2, for sure. Hell is Others or Diablo 2? It's Diablo 2. Payday 2 or American Truck Sim? Give me Payday 2. There's probably some freaks have been playing this and only this for like eight years. Half-Life or Persona 4 Golden? That's Half-Life half Counter-Strike? Is this one... This is not 1.6, right? That is 1.6? Okay, I'm going 1.6 then. What? I thought there were 1.6 freaks, man. I thought there were people that refused to migrate to CSGO. Stranded Alien Dawn or Animal Crossing. Okay, in hindsight, I probably should have known that one. Okay, okay. Cart Rider or Astro Colony? We go Cart Rider. <laughs> I'm getting my ass kicked. Victoria 3 beats The Ascent. For now. Madden beats Demon Souls. Cookie Run loses to Dungeons and Dragons. Whatever the hell Cookie Run is. I'm Only Sleeping beats Azur Lane. NBA beats Bayonetta. Gardic Show beats Ghost Exorcism. Not by much. God of War 3 versus Twitch Plays. 
Let me go Twitch plays on that one. Wreckfest loses to Overwatch 2. There we go. We got a streak. Twilight Princess loses to Apex Legends. Apollo, avert your eyes. The truth hurts. Soma beats Broken Ranks. Gardic Phone beats Four Tales, a card-based narrative journey. This is a tough one. Blank Frame, a psychological horror game versus Beat Saber, a game that every VR streamer spent $15,000 building a perfect setup for and then only seven people watch. <clears throat> I do have to say that Beat Saber seems like it definitely more streamed, but more watched. I don't know. I feel like like if Dan's Gaming is doing like a horror month, if he happens to be playing Blank Frame right now, then then it's crushing it. But then I'm like, you could apply that to anything. You could look at any two games and be like, if a big streamer is playing this one, it'll win. So I guess I would just say that I let's go with first principles. Don't overthink and say that Beat Saber wins. Kind of close though. Sheesh. Chess beats Shatterline. Whatever that is. I'm probably costing myself a lot of sponsored deals right now. <laughs> Game I've never heard of, looks like shit, loses to everything, who cares? Jackbox Party Pack 9 literally just came out, so we say that stays winning. I'm going to say that Farming Simulator 22 beats Robopon. Although then again, I'm like, wait, is Farming Simulator 22 the new one? I mean, it's hard to believe that Robopon has a lot of viewers, but it could have more than last year's Farming Sim. Don't overthink. That's true. Okay, Robopon stays losing. Very. Th thank you for telling, keeping me honest. I'm going to say Outlast 1 beats Mario Party 3 in October. Serious Sam, Siberian Mayhem, or the Kingdom Hearts Collection? Please, don't overthink it. Resident Evil 5 or Song of Horror? Don't overthink it. Resident Evil 5. Even, even though it's ass. <clears throat> Wait, that, that's the one that's not that ass. Resident Evil 6 is the one I had to stop playing with Kate because the fixed camera was giving me motion sickness. War Thunder beats words on stream. We, sadly, we know FTL has like 50 viewers. Does the remake of Metro Last Light have more than 50 viewers? I'm going to say no. That was a good streak, though. What was that? That was like 17, something like 16. That wasn't overthinking. I mean, I was like, I thought this would have like 10 viewers. That was 19? Okay, slash marker me. Coney, thanks for the game. That was dead game. I'm going to go to the bathroom.